there are terabytes of data that are still unpreserved, unarchived, unavailable, not open access. And this is a profound problem for every science, including the scientists of the Deep Carbon Observatory. We are doing in the Deep Carbon Observatory fundamental discoveries in biology and deep life, in organic chemistry and the deep energy sources. We're studying how the carbon moves from one reservoir to another, how much carbon is there. And so you need to be able to integrate the data, the data resources, into an infrastructure where all of these kinds of data can sort of essentially see each other, to talk to each other, you can ask new questions. What to me is most incredibly exciting is that if you have a data resource that's robust, that's interoperable, it has an infrastructure where one person can sit down at a terminal or talk to their computer and call up all of these resources in different areas. That data then becomes a scientific instrument in and of itself. It's a scientific instrument that will drive discovery by looking at the data and finding correlations that no one human being could ever possibly imagine, could possibly visualize because you're talking about such vast resources with so many different kinds of parameters and, and input space that, that once they're all brought together, the computer can become the engine of discovery. We can only do that with a robust program of archiving, of integrating, building an infrastructure, and then DCO will have a legacy of data-driven research that will go on into the future for as, for as long as the data can be used.